This video will demonstrate the proper procedure for setting up and using the Kato Torque Limiting Clutch Drive. This video assumes that you are already familiar with the Kato Air Tool or have watched the Kato Air Tool video. If not, please watch that video first, then return to this video. The clutch drive is required for tangless insert sizes 256, 440, M2.5, and M3. Let's begin by reviewing the critical components that make up the Kato Torque Limiting Clutch Drive. At the top of the clutch drive, you'll find a lock nut, two wavy springs, and two washers. The lock nut is the part that you're going to turn to increase or decrease the torque. Turning the lock nut clockwise will increase the torque. Turning the lock nut counterclockwise will decrease the torque. This handle is included to manually adjust the torque during initial setup. To adjust the torque, you must release the lock nut from the dimpled washer. To do this, pull back on the washer so that the lock nut can freely turn. When you tighten the lock nut, you're increasing the torque. Loosening the lock nut, you're decreasing the torque. Now we'll install an insert or two manually and adjust the torque. Slide the clutch drive over the mandrel. Then slide the provided handle into the clutch drive. Next, we're going to drop the insert into the well. Because this is tangless, I don't have to orient the insert. It's bi-directional. Even if you're using strip feed inserts, remove one of the inserts from the strip and drop it in. It'll be easier than trying to hold the strip while adjusting the torque manually. The idea here is to set the clutch to use the minimal amount of torque that will install the insert. Before we begin, make sure the clutch is set to the lowest setting by loosening the lock nut. You want to hold the prewinder body. Do not touch or hold the body of the clutch drive. Hold the prewinder vertically over the hole. Turn the clutch drive using the handle. If the clutch engages at any point during this process prior to the insert fully installing, you'll need to gradually increase the torque. Turn the mandrel clockwise until it engages the insert. After the mandrel engages the insert, continue turning the mandrel clockwise. The mandrel will begin to thread the insert through the prewinder. Do you hear the clicking sound? The handle is turning, but the mandrel is not. This means the clutch drive is active and there isn't enough torque to install the insert. If you don't experience this on your first attempt, then the torque was too high to start with. Loosen the lock nut and try again until the clutch engages during installation. Whenever adjusting the torque, do so gradually. The adjustments on the clutch are very sensitive. Only turn the lock nut one flat at a time. Turning the lock nut one and a half or a full turn to expedite the process may result in too much torque, which defeats the purpose of using the clutch drive. Pull back on the washer and turn the lock nut one flat clockwise to increase the torque. Then continue with insert installation. If more torque is needed, tighten the lock nut one more flat and repeat. As you can see, the insert is installing. Once the insert is fully installed, turn the mandrel counterclockwise to release it from the insert. Check the hole to make sure the insert is fully installed and the depth is correct. Once the insert is fully installed, we know the torque is set properly. However, in order to compensate for the momentum of the air motor and for variation in the tapped holes, we recommend you add one or even two additional flats to your torque setting, depending on your application. We're going to add one flat to our tool. The clutch drive is now set up and ready for use. The clutch drive actually replaces the drive sleeve inside the adapter. Remove the drive sleeve from the adapter. Slide the clutch onto the air motor. Slide the adapter housing over the clutch drive and turn counterclockwise to tighten. Next, slide the front end assembly into the adapter and tighten. If you recall from the air tool video, all the threads are left hand threads. A good hand tightening is all that's needed. Do not over tighten the adapter or front end assembly. With the air tool completely assembled, we'll install some inserts. When you feel or hear the clicking sound, that's your indication that the insert is installed and to release the lever. 
As you can see, it only takes a few minutes to initially set up the clutch drive. Once you do, it's easy to assemble into the air tool and easy to use. The air tool can be very powerful. That's why the clutch drive is required when installing 256, 440, M2.5, and M3 tangless insert. The clutch drive was designed to protect the smaller mandrels from breaking prematurely and to prolong the life of the installation tool. Thank you for watching the Kato Clutch Drive video.